God Eater. Over the three years have passed since its last release in God Eater 3, which I covered here on the channel, checking out the best Monster Hunter likes that you can play right now. I found it to be a good alternative actually, with its own strengths and weaknesses sure, but as a monster hunting style game it worked well. You had like 12 weapons to choose between, each with their own play styles, builds to make, and overall a faster pace to the combat than Monster Hunter, featuring details like part breaking and hey, having a unique story and a big variety of monsters to hunt. While not a perfect game by any stretch, I actually appreciated what it was doing as an alternative. I found myself interested to see if there was more for this series. Could in the future, if they continued it, it be genuine competition for Monster Hunter? That's hard to say, and especially with Code Vein coming out the following year, which was great by the way, they certainly went down more of a Souls-like route. Following that up with Scarlet Nexus the next year, which had this incredible polish we've not seen from these devs before. The development of the devs has been really cool to see from that, but they have been leaning more away from them Monster Hunter-like game design, which is why I wonder if we'll ever see a God Eater 4. But what about the God Eater series itself? Where did this come from? I was told a lot about God Eater 2, Rage Burst, many times in those comments on my God Eater 3 video. So while we wonder about God Eater 4, let's check out 2 and see if that's worth playing in 2022. Okay, here we go. Uh, this music is ridiculous. Uh, I've got to make a name, a code name, and my character. And here we are, character creator. It is actually very familiar, this. Just like the Code Vein character creator, Scarlet Nexus, and of course, God Eater 3. It's the same creator, but it's like basically the original. But you can see how they've got all the accessories and stuff and like even extensions on your hair. Like they, they started with all this craziness with the hats and gimmicks right from the beginning. All right, there he is, I guess. There's Hollow. He's my bunny eared blue boy. Well, this is just lovely, isn't it? A bit of blood rain and a town on fire. You, nothing's more settling than that. What is that? Is that a moving city? It's like that one film. Yeah, look, it's like on wheels. It's literally a moving city. There's a film about this. What's it called? World of Machines or something? Hey, it works. <laughs> the game just crashed on me like five times trying to get into this cinematic to get the game to like run. And I had to verify the files. We're good, guys. I'm on a table. I've got bunny ears. I'm relaxed. You were chosen to be here. Yay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, big shock. I mean, they, they dress it up nicer in this one. You're like a slave, and they don't give a damn about you in the third game. Although that still doesn't look nice. Not this one. Look closely. This one's a gamer. He's ready to game. Uh, here we are in a base. Okay, yeah, this reminds me of, like the walker that you're on. But I guess we're... Oh, we're probably on that moving city, aren't we? Congrats on passing the God Eater and Blood Absolute test and Fran, your operator. Now that you pass the test, you've officially been granted clearance to the database. Yeah, so in all of their games, they seem to have a base that you kind of wander around. Um, there is NPCs and interactions here, as you can see. And this is where a lot of the story progresses, or at least sets you up for sort of the next mission. Some of it's done pretty well, though. This looks pretty cool. I actually really like the setup. The giant city ah, that you're living in. I the hear moves. congratulations are in order on the results of your compatibility test. The voice acting quality is wildly all over the place. Some of these characters are really well done. Uh, some success. of them not so much. Please sit. Oh, we're like on a little day. I serve as captain of the Blood Special Forces unit. Which so he's our captain. All right, so I can sprint around, I can jump, and here is my sort of dash evade. See my stamina bar at the top left. The UI is pretty uh, invasive on the screen, isn't it? I actually reached it. Oh, they've got hanging and climb up mechanics. It's pretty unexpected. I haven't been given the option to choose my weapon yet. I hope that comes up soon. We're just using this sword, I guess. All right, so we have, um, what is this, heavy attack? Okay. And then we have light attacks, which we will a lot quicker. Transform your 
Oh yeah, they have the transformation in this game, of course. So RB to change form. It's so cool, you swap between ranged and melee, so every weapon is two in one. And there are different kinds of guns in the game as well, I believe. I aim at it, and then what? Light attack? So that's heavy? You can only do heavy. Oh, I see, I have two bullet types. And yeah, there's the custom bullets in this game. You attack with the weapon, that builds up OP, which you see under my health, and then you spend that whenever you can on, uh, on range attacks. And that's it. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Will the missions in this game be as kind of like paced poorly or will it actually be better in this game? Hey there! You were so freaking Who the hell is this? Someone dress this lady! Someone someone provide some clothes. What's happening? What the fuck? By the way, as a token of our newfound friendship. Sandwich! How many of those do you have? And there's a stick in the middle of that! You just ate the stick! You ate the- it's like a kebab in the middle of bread, and you ate the wood! What is wrong with it's you? It's my mom's secret super special recipe. An amazing Odin sandwich! Give it a try! Bet you love it! I don't know! Stay away from me! Oops! Training starts any minute now! See you soon! That was weird. Okay, so I'm looking at the terminal, and I can actually change my loadout and craft and upgrade here, it seems. Yeah, got out parts, clothes, create equipment, change my skill effects. So, I'm using the knife. That's a big knife. Here we go. I'm glad I looked. So, that's the knife, and then you can augment it with the blade, the buster, the hammer, the spear or the scythe. Now, I used the scythe last time, so I won't do it again. Let's do the hammer for some variety. Now, that looks different. That looks cool. And then you have the four weapon types, so you can swap from the beginning. So, we were using blast. So, the sniper, the carbine, or spread like a shotgun. I think I'll do the hammer and the sniper. Why not? Oh, and you have a shield on every weapon as well. And there's different types. There's the target shield for parrying, the general blocking, and the true blocking, which is super heavy. I'll just do the medium one. Ah, devouring. So hold Y to unleash the devour. Oh man, I remember that. That's how you're supposed to collect uh, equipment, right? That's how you're supposed to actually gain uh, items. We're getting bashed about. So if I try to devour here, there you go, simulated item. And now, I also remember that's part of your combos. Um... Yeah, you like power up and go into burst mode. That might be in the next game only in three. I'll tell you one thing though, blood is tough, so you'd better be ready to give it your all. Yeah, you look real tough, bud. You look real tough. Um, his weapon looks sick. The black and gold looks so much cooler. I wish to see their talents firsthand. Don't know why you've got any confidence in the randos I've been put with. They're pretty deranged. Oh no! She's a hammer user as well. One of us is gonna have to change, <laughs> and it's not gonna be me. Oh shit! <laughs> Quick defensive hug. He stopped it with his hand. You could have just like stabbed it, right? I used your shield. <laughs> what a noob! Here we go. Look at this environment, by the way. The city. How cool does that look? With all of, like, the halls and the structures. Actually reminds me of uh, something I saw both Code Vein and God Eater. But I guess they're the same world. Alright. Let's do it. So it's running away to feed. That's what it's doing. So I can sprint after it. I wonder if I'm going to get super moves or anything at some point. Right now, we just have this sort of light combo. Oh, it's down. That was easy. So I've got to make sure to eat it if I'm going to upgrade my gear. Cinnabar, Ogre Tail, Bone Chips. Look at these guys. Look at these bozos. There's a sort of auto-targeting system that you can see in place. Oh, and I'm full of OP, so let me change to my weapon. We'll aim. Now, Sniper Bullet Blaze or regular Sniper Bullet? Let's do Blaze. Oh! Damn! That's strong! So what I'm interested to see... Oh, that's it, really? What I'm interested to see is what are the big fights like? I hope they don't just give us a bunch of, like, small monster missions to go do over and over. I remember in 3, there was, like, 9 or 10 of those before I got to an actual fight. 
So check this out. You have party members that actually have special abilities. They're called support skills. So activate a party member's support skill after clearing a mission, giving that member the AP. So he's got two right now or three, so I just give him these. And the next mission, he'll have some sort of special ability. That's You've done well today. Uh, we're still in a fight. This what do you mean? This is an ideal opportunity to demonstrate the abilities you are to awaken. We are gonna get some super abilities. Oh wow! So awesome. Ooh. It's a single <laughs> regular strike. Whoa! All right, let's try and attach a new art then. So install skill to my melee weapon. Ah, this is for my hammer. Link Aid Recover. Increase HP recovery amount of Link Aid Giver. So, maybe Life Steal? Oh, and I also have these two shield ones as well. Beloved and Devour Oracle Absorber. So, I don't know what these do. When your teammate becomes incapacitated, teammates of opposite sex enter Burst. So, that's Beloved. Increase OP Absorbed on Devour. That's really good. I really need that. So, I can keep using my gun as much as possible. All right, cool. Uh, and it just reference Burst, by the way. The combo thing I was thinking about in the tutorial, so maybe that is in this game somehow. I think we're here to just kill him again, so we do have some different creatures. You know, that's something. I was saying that, you know, I'm worried that we're just going to have a very repetitive go kill small monsters while blindly slapping them kind of situation. And uh, yeah, that's definitely happening. The level design feels very familiar. It's just kind of like tight corridors and areas with items in it. Although, yeah, I will actually say this is more bland. Um, you know, there's less going on here than in uh, God Eater 3. Wow, yeah, so that's what I'm saying. The mission was go kill two little guys. That was it. The pace at which you do these attacks is pretty nice, pretty quick. And I like the transformation with the gun. But the enemies are... Pretty one no, as I was expecting with the small scale, but small scale battles. If I jump into the ridiculous like, oh, did I just level up? Oh, I got the link burst thing from um, from Julius. That's what happened. So now we have fire transfer shot, demon bug bullet. Look, ooh. Concentrated Haze. I'm at level 2 on Burst, so I'll be X. Oh, wow. It fired like a bullet that's piercing that goes through targets. I wonder if there's any that I can do with melee rather than just, you know, uh, range attacks. But it's good to see the Burst system is here. It just seems to work differently. Because in the third game, you had to kind of, like, do a combo and then, in the middle of combat, devour. And that would, like, keep your burst level up. Hang on. No, I just bursted from that. Is it the same? Oh, it's going to die before I get to try. No. So what I want to do is I want to immediately devour a living target and see if that gives me burst mode. Just as I was talking about how it worked in the other one. Hey, it's here. It just wasn't explained. There you go. So I hit it. And I got a level. And see, it's going down. So I need to, before that runs out, consume again. What that's done is given me a powerful gunshot. So let's try it. So aiming. Boom. Like that. And it seems to go through the target. Quite piercing. Let's try and hit it again. Now that refilled it, but it didn't level it up. Perhaps that's because the level of enemy is low. Or maybe it's because it was about to run out. Let me just spam some devouring. Uh, okay, I just got transferred level 2 from an ally. So, while in ranged mode, aim RBX. Like so, the piercing shot. So, let's try to get level 3. Maybe hit one of these guys. Got it. I kept my level 2. Let's try get this one. Got it. No, so leveling up beyond 2 might be beyond me right now. But hey, I'm glad that uh, despite the tutorial not really telling me, I was able to work this out. Oh, new um, name for range attack. What's this? Let me see. Oh, it's like a fire shot. Like a cannon. And I can only do that while in level 2, I guess. 
Oh, but it cost me no OP, so I can just keep firing and knocking them straight out of the air. That's really good. Swap back. Okay, the combat's getting a bit more interesting than, two, you know, two short combos. It's all about swapping between your gun and getting your burst levels. But I must say that's kind of confusing, a bit janky. It's starting to feel a bit smoother now, though, as I'm, like, experimenting and learning more. So now I've stolen poison bullets from the enemies we were devouring earlier that were poison. And we can even go first person with the sniper like so, which is a bit weird, but kind of was all right. And there you go. We're learning. We're learning. Check it out. A new enemy. And it's a big one. And I actually recognize this guy from God of War 3. They have you fight one of these guys. And it's a pretty scary fight. So I'm going to try to respect it. Let's start by using the gun. And I will use my sniper bullets from range. It is able to range zap me. Okay. This is great. I'm so glad we found like an actual... Whoa! Whoa! We found an actual enemy. Okay, what's it doing? Blowing up around it. Wait for that to run out. Let's go back in. Quick light attack combo. Get out of the way of the front. This should be a good devour moment since it's standing still. I'm going to keep blindly trying. I got it. There we go. All right. So we unlocked streamer from this one. So what's streamer? Ah, it's the lightning shot. You literally steal the power of the gods because you're a god eater. It makes sense. And then you use it against them. You have to assume that some enemies are going to be weak to different stuff. Um, like, this guy's not really going to be weak to lightning because he's a lightning enemy. At least you would imagine so. But, uh, you know, when am I going to get the opportunity to use this against a different enemy here? I'm not. So I may as well use it against this guy. Got it. So I've got poison. So let's try and poison the boss. 16 and 18. I think the lightning was doing 32. So it's not bad. I broke the tail with that shot. It's running to heal. I'm not going to let it. Ooh, 40 and 18. That was a really good hit. And now it's got the status ailment of poison. Is it doing damage over time? I can see it's got like a purple aura around it. Streamer again. So we're lightning blasting. The range on that's really good. Very wide hitting. And of course, it restores all my ammo as well when I do that, which is really nice. And it's down with the head hit. There we go. That was... That was solid. That was kind of cool. Well, I finally reached level 2 or difficulty 2. This is the next stage of the mission. So, new enemies, maybe. More intense fights. A bit more going on. No, it's exactly the same region that we've been playing in before. And these look like exactly the same enemies that I've been killing already. Well, I mean, these guys are doing a new attack. Where they're trying to range us, basically. Oh, the piercing shots on that is so sick. Look at that. Whoa, hello. Hello. Yes, the disappointment is gone. I got a monkey enemy. I think I fought one of these in God Eater 3 as well. Look at him. He's like a demon monkey. What special ability do you have? A gale blow. Let's have a look at it. Okay, this is gale blow. It's a single big hit shot. A bit underwhelming, but you know using the air against it. It's very ineffective, though. It does really feel like you shouldn't use what you've taken from the monster you're fighting against it. So, like, find a small enemy like this, steal its power like that, and then basically use that against your other target. Maybe that's more effective. At least it seems like it. I'm landing uh, a few good hits, but the fully charge up fire hammer shot thing is quite hard against an enemy that's so agile like this. But I have just broken its face, or whatever those, like, horn things on its back are. Also, I've noticed that I have aerial attacks, so that's my light attack, and then I have a heavy plunge. That's pretty good in combat, although let me just sneak up on it and get my burst mode, and then plunge attack, like that. You can throw it out pretty quick, and it does pretty solid damage, like a 50 in one hit's not bad. Let's see if I can do the fire hit. 
Hey, I landed my fire hammer. Look. See if I get it again. Yep, yep. Perfect. Well, let's just do some lights into the arm. That actually does a lot of damage. If I throw a stun grenade, I can also stun it for a while. Some free damage. Break the face. There we go. I think the wind attacks that it does are slightly bigger. Maybe doing more damage. It's doing a lot more slams. But there we go. We've got it. Couldn't really tell what was different in terms of the enrage. But hey, an actual enemy, you know, a bit bigger of an enemy, a bit more going on. So, what do I think? I would say visually this is obviously a PSP or Vita release that's been brought back on PC. You can see the age in the visuals, the lacking detail on many of the enemies in the terrain. But I still think it has this clear charm. The character customization, the detail of those characters, their humor and character that they have. So while visually dated, there's still a charm that's clear to me. It's more the dated mechanical issues that are a problem, like how hit collision's a bit off, like you can awkwardly sort of phase into it enemies or of course the aiming of attacks is a bit awkward as well however at the core i still think it feels pretty good the transforming weapons the many weapon types whether it's melee ranged or shields all working differently and the combat just continued to get more involved and interesting as i went i just get a new special attack new aerial attacks stealing different attacks from enemies the burst mode i started to manage and then later the blood arts so while at first it feels very straightforward they keep adding new layers to make it feel better and better on the other hand, the mission layout is very much like God Eater 3, bloated and very repetitive. I do not need 20 missions of little pleb enemies. I need only like two or three, then give me the real monsters, please. The way they lay it out in this way means my first impressions are I only got to fight two interesting big monsters, so that's a letdown. Still, it is progressing really well as I play, both in monsters and my gameplay options, so I can see it just getting better. I still view it as a Monster Hunter light style game though, with simpler combat and a much faster pace, and a unique world to play in. There's builds with the equipment, the crazy bullet customization you can do in these games, and it's pretty cool to come back to 2 and see how 3 has actually progressed this series by comparison. The burst system being a bit more functional, the enemy mechanics being a bit more interesting. It makes me actually appreciate God Eater 3 a bit more having played Rage Burst now. I just wonder, will we ever see a God Eater 4? It would be really cool to see that with the progression of their series with Scarlet Nexus and the quality and polish they've got there, if they could do that with God Eater 4. That's it for now though. If you have any other game suggestions for the Monster Hunter-like series, please let me know and drop a like on the video as well so I can make more of these videos. Until next time, I've been Hollow, you've been you. Thanks for watching. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos, dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes, bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice to reiterate that it is nice to look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage is, uh, goodbye.